will be showing you how to customize the text in the in-game message boxes. You can change the color of the text and make the text appear in certain ways, etc. This can get pretty complicated, but it's still pretty cool. Changing the color of the text via scripting is not as easy as it, as it sounds. It requires you to know the hex of a color. Luckily, all you have to do is search up Color Picker on Google and you can choose a color which, which can tell you the hex. The hex is always six digits. Once you find the color you want, type in call show msg, then in parentheses, you type in quotations, then a backward slash, then the letter C, and then the hex of the color you chose. For example, if you want the text of the message to be read, type in FF0000 to the right of the C and then right next to the hex you can type in your message. So let's see. Hello. Let's test this out. Yep. You can also have multiple colors in one message like this. Now, if you want your text to fade in, type in call show msg and parentheses and quotation, then a backward slash, and then alpha, the word alpha, and right next to alpha, type in the text you want. So don't leave any spaces, just type in the text you want. So, uh, okay. Alright, let's test this out. See the text fades in like that. Now let's see. If you want your text in multiple lines, you would need again. Again, you will need to type in call show msg, and in the parentheses type in quotations. Then the text you want. So hello. I guess, okay, um, then, then to create a new line, you need to type in a backward slash, then the letter N, and then right next to N, type in what you want in the second line, or so on, so, this will, um, alright, now let's test this out. See, now, now, um, now there are, are multiple lines being used here. The last customization option for text is Quake. This will make all of the text in the box have a shaky effect. To use this effect, type in call show msg then parentheses, then quotations, then type in a backward slash, then type quake, and finally the text you want. So I'm going to say hello, for example. Okay. And this is what the effect looks like. Yeah, that looks cool. So, thanks for watching this tutorial, I'm still trying to figure out how to make custom NPCs from scratch. So, I most likely will be doing a different tutorial in the next part, so yeah, see you soon!